looking to Jingle Bell Rock right now. And let me tell you what, I got so many dish towels stuffed up in this hat. Woo! <laughs> so welcome, you guys. My name is Artist Nicole, and I'm going to be your paint lady tonight for those guys who don't know me. Google for Cocoa Pops. And tonight, we are going to be shaking our flakes. That's me shaking my flakes. <laughs> um, so for those of you guys who don't know me, I own Artful Nights Maine and, you know, Coke for Coke Pops. That's a beautiful thing. And hello, Sharon Viola Martin. How are you, honey? Patricia Poisson? How you do? <laughs> I think this hat weighs more than my brain. Um, so, uh, yeah, I own Artful Nights Mean, and my rules are absolutely simple. Hi, Sherry Milborn. Oh, my gosh, I'm happy to see you, too, honey. Bobby Joe Brumberg from Pennsylvania. Hi, Pumpkin. Bobby Morin, how you do? Um, so, again, right, rules are absolutely simple. You guys at home, you eat, you drink lots of wine because that makes shaking your flakes a little easier, okay? And that's it. You have a fabulous time. You paint. And then, ah, if you get that wonderful urge, okay, that creative little bugger just jumps up, you, grabs hold of you and says, you know what? It's time for you to do something different. You go for it. Because art is what makes your heart happy, isn't it? That's right. That's right. So who's ready to paint some Shake in the Flakes? I know I am. Oh, Darla Carson. Did you do the moose with ornaments? No, honey. That is Sunday night. Two days. We are doing our moose and the ugly sweater contest. But I'll talk about that later. Hi, Tanya Pillsbury. Hi, Bobby Morin. I am doing honey. <laughs> How you do? <laughs> Anita Robinson, cool, cool, good you. Hi, Cindy Bailey. I got to show you something, girl. Look at this. Oh, girl, I am headed up for your granddaughter's birthday party. Yeah, mm-hmm. My son wouldn't offer up any appendages. So who's ready to shake their flags? Hi, Cassie Mae. I know I am. All right. So, now that you guys got a visual, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to pour our paint. Now, the first thing you guys are going to do is you're going to need lots and lots of black. Why? Merry Christmas, my little noodle. How you doing, Betty Cameron? So, Tiffany Day. Hi, honey. Yes, I am okay. You know, life happens and then we just... Strong like bull. We take care of it. <laughs> More than my flakes. All right, Bobby. <laughs> okay, so you guys are going to need about a tablespoon of black. You're going to need about a teaspoon of white. Okay, so we got black and white. Nikki White, fight, fight. You're going to need a little of orange. Just a little of orange, okay? See, this is a good visual. All right. Are you guys getting excited for Christmas? I know I am so excited. I'm going to make some more norm gnomes tomorrow. Man, I got to go out in the woods, but I think it's supposed to snow, so maybe not. You guys are going to need just a little of brown. And you are going to need just a of red. So how cool is that? About a quarter of a teaspoon. So the biggest colors that everybody's going to need is the white and the black tonight. Other than that, all these other ones, hey, you ready to shake your flakes? Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> Good Lord, I got about seven dish towels shoved in there. Getting my, getting my snowman on tonight. Okay, Jennifer Arbor Crocker. Hi, baby, how are you? Tanya Pillsbury. Can we use a black canvas or is a canvas a prep with black gesso? So, what I always tell folks is the first step in this painting is we're going to 
paint our entire canvas black. And yes, you can buy a black canvas. You can use that sucker. However, I usually kind of just stick with the white and then I paint it black because the black uh, canvases are a little more expensive. And I usually end up buying huge amounts of canvases. But absolutely, honey, you got a black canvas, you go for it, sweet bug. Okay, you use that black canvas. That's right, girl, you got it special for tonight. All right, you guys. So, first thing I'm going to have everybody do, that's right, that's what I'm talking about. Everybody's going to pick up that big boy, okay? All right, I feel mighty close. What's going on? Oh, oh, I'm close to the camera. <laughs> oh, I'm going to back it up because we're shaking our face. Okay? So, the first thing I'm going to have everybody do, they're going to pick up their big boy. And I am going to name this big boy. What am I going to name him? I'm going to name him the Grand Poopa. Why? Because we all need a Grand Poopa. Okay? So every time I tell you, you pick up your Grand Poopa, you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> okay. And the first thing that we're going to do Everybody loves a big boy. You got that, sweet girl. Darla Carson said 50. Thank you, honey. Ah, uh, Bobby. Bobby, you lucky you have a grand poop on home. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, so first thing you guys are going to do is absolutely you're gonna paint this whole canvas black. What? Yes. And make sure when you're painting it that you guys are not painting a thick coat, okay? Just a nice, gentle wapututu, all right? Nice, soft, little, just don't give it too much. Don't give it too much. Just give it a little, okay? Can I watch the video and paint it tomorrow, Jennifer says. Absolutely, honey. You can do that. You can enjoy the show. And I keep these videos up for a week on my page. So you have a whole week, love bug, to get right on there and shake your flakes. So no worries, okay? Look what I'm doing. I'm taking my grand poopa. <laughs> grand poopa, okay? And I'm painting her up. Paint that whole canvas black, just like this. We're stroking it to the left. We're stroking it to the right. We're using that big boy. We're fight, fight, fighting. There we go. Look at that. Yeah. Underlay, underlay, repa. Okay, and you're gonna get that whole canvas painted. Just like this. Here we go. Get that bottom. Oh yeah, baby. Now, a painting is never finished until we do what? We paint our top our sides and our bottom but we never paint our bottom first hi paula quimby how you doing merry christmas to you sweet love bug um we never paint our bottom first because then you guys get a sticky bottom and nobody likes a sticky bottom especially when you got a grand poopa you know what i'm saying <laughs> Okay, so there we go. Finished painting up this whole canvas black. Now, again, yes, you can buy a black canvas if you want to. Nothing wrong with that. That's a good thing. But I always do this. Because you know what? Who wants to go out and buy a black canvas? You got one that's good. Okay, and then you're going to come up. You're going to paint the top just like this. Go right up there. Shika shika bang bang. And I gotta paint this side because you know what? You guys are looking at it. So I gotta pretend like I'm doing the right thing. There you go. Paint that, paint that side right there. That way when you guys go put them in the Metropolitan Museum of Art, they're gonna be like, oh yeah. They're gonna be like, oh yeah, I'll take that. She painted her top her sides and her bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, there we go. There's a sign. And we never paint our bottoms first, so I'm going to leave it just like that. Look at that. Ooh. 
Ooh, look like midnight, huh? Okay, now what you guys are gonna do next, you're gonna take your grand poopa and you're gonna give it a bath. Why? Because it's dirty. Got a dirty poopa, okay? <laughs> Nobody wants a dirty poopa. All right, we have lots of black gesso, so I bought the cheaper white ones and prepped a few. Oh, smart girl, that's really smart, Tanya. Exactly. Whenever you see something like this, honey, you know, basically with every painting, okay, girl, what we do is we aim to work, do you use gloss or matte paints? I t generally tend to use matte paints or whatever. I don't get a gloss finish. Matte, thank you, Nancy Ho, you got it, girl. Just because, you know what, you don't need to. If you decide that you wanna make these archival quality, all you got to do, honey, is you got to spray them with a little bit of, uh, a Rust-Oleum. <laughs> there you go. It took me a second. A little bit of Rust-Oleum clear coat. That will preserve these forever, honey. So don't spend all your money buying expensive paints, especially when you just learn it. You're a ticket and I love it. Oh, God, I'm glad. You're a ticket. <laughs> Okay, now, what we're going to do next, you guys are going to grab this sucker by the bottom, okay? Because we didn't paint that, and you're going to give it the flat doodle. And we're like, why are we doing this, Nicole? Why are we giving this the flat doodle? Hey, Connie Foster, how you do, baby? Oh, I haven't seen you in forever. I love my Connie Foster. So, the reason why we do this is because... Black, this is called swatting the fly. Get that fly. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the reason why we paint it, uh, the reason why we dry it first is because black is so naughty and it loves to travel. Now, when you mix black with white, you're going to get a dirty snowman. You know what I'm saying? So, what you guys want to do is you want to make sure that this guy is 100% dry before we try to put white on it. Now, what I've been doing lately, I need to work out the flying squirrels. <laughs> You're gonna love you, uh, Bobby. <laughs> All right, Bobby, I already do. <laughs> Jessica Pierce, hi, honey. Happy to see you too, baby. All right, so what I always do is I give it the flat noodle, Work out the flying squirrels, right? Not that I need to, but you know what I'm saying. So, tonight, though, I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to give it the hair dryer. Okay? If you guys choose to give it the hair dryer, okay, what you got to do is make sure that you have it on a cool setting. All right? You never want to put it on a hot setting. Okay? Look at that. I know. I look cool. <laughs> Work straight. You want it on the coolest setting. You don't want that paint to crack on you. Nobody likes crack paint. No stop. All right, there we go. Daniel. And doing that, right, I said, oh, my goodness, look at that. I got a little thumbprint in there. So I'm gonna grab my big bobby. I'm gonna grab, I mean, not my bobby, I'm gonna grab my grand poopa, dry it off so I don't get the gripsies. Take out my thumb thumbprint. Okay, get some of these spots on the side. All right, look at that. Ooh, baby. Some good stuff right there, see that? Mm. All right, snap, be going back. Gonna take that hair dryer again. There we go, baby, baby, baby. Now, Tanya Pillsbury. Now that I'm thinking about it, my love. So, when you guys, this is what 
why I always buy my canvas from the same people. And I buy them from the commercial uh, stores, right? I buy them from the, well, whoever's got a deal. Michael's, Hobby Lobby, whatever. Because they're already pre gessoed okay? So, canvas, plain canvas is just cotton and enough. In order to be able to paint on it, you want it treated with gesso. So I just remembered, I'm going to tell you that, okay? All right. So, we got our black. Now, blow it, girl. <laughs> I think Bobby's going to be my new friend. I like my Bobby. Okay. Um. So, the next thing you guys are going to do, everybody's going to grab their medium brush. All right? And this medium brush... I'm going to call him Mr. Ed. Why? Because Mr. Ed was the talking horse. And I don't know why it just popped in my head. So Mr. Ed it is. So what you guys are going to do next is you're going to take Mr. Ed, your medium brush. If you guys are just starting out, grab your small brush. There's no prize for using your medium one. Use your small one. Okay? And what we're going to do with Mr. Ed is I want you guys to remember this this snowman's giving a little boogie. He's boogieing. He's shaking his flakes. So we're not going to draw him straight up. No, sir. Ray. We're going to draw him in the boogie position. So what you guys are going to do first, okay, is here we go. We're going to put his rump like this, okay, kind of to the... Uh, I don't know if that's left or right. All right, there we go. Just shape out that little rump. Okay, I'm going to stand back so you guys can see that it's a little off kilter. All right, there we go. Here's my little rump stump. <laughs> okay. And then what we're going to do, we're going to bring in his little belly. Here we go, here's his belly. And notice how his belly is not straight up. Look at that. No siree. It's off to the side because he's shaking up his business, right? Because he needs a little Christmas. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Shake that, shake them flakes, shake them flakes. Okay, there's his belly, his little forward like this, because he's boogieing with all his might. All right, now you're going to put on his little snowman head. Look at this. You know, you know, snowman heads are usually round. And notice how what I'm doing is I'm giving a full circle for the head and the belly. Okay? Tanya Pillsbury. So you, do you buy the canvas that are already pre-gessoed, but did a black gesso over top of them? You know what, sweetie? You just double dip. There's nothing wrong with that, sweetie. But all the canvases that they sell at the major stores are already pre-gessoed. That's why I love them. I can buy hundreds of them and go teach a class, and I know everybody's going to have a good time. Yeah, and you can read that right on the label, sweet love, that they're pre-gessoed. But that's okay to double gesso. Nothing wrong with that, sweet bug. That way I have them for the upcoming see more. Save time and waiting for paint to dry or have a child in hair dry when husband's sleeping. I got that, sweet baby. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you don't want to wake up the grand poopa. <laughs> Nobody likes a grumpy poopa. Okay, so can you guys see this? So you've got this, the circle, and everything is a little off kilter. Okay, look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love this song. I love Felice Navidad. Okay, now what we're going to do next is you guys are going to go back to your grand poopa, okay? Grab that big grand poopa, dry it off, make it 
make sure there's absolutely nothing on it. You want no black on it, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to paint our balls. Yes, we are. It's time to paint our balls. All right, so here we go. First ball. Now, every time you guys paint a ball, you want to paint it in a circular motion, just like this. And it does matter. You know what I'm saying? So there we go. Here's our first ball. Now, do not go crazy, because guess what? It's not going to cover the first time, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? We don't want it to cover the first time. That's all right. We'll go back and we'll paint that ball again. All right? So there's number one. Now, number two, we're going to come in, and we are going to paint the whole ball, okay? Why are we painting the whole ball, you ask? Well, because the second ball, the belly ball, is in front of the bottom ball. So we need the whole ball. There we go. Look at that. Boom. Boom. Now, don't try to cover it the first time by putting a nice, thicky, ricky coat on there. You don't have to do that. Okay? Here's number two. That's right. Release another duck. All right. Now, how you guys doing on your Christmas shopping? You're all over it, aren't you? I bet you are. I'm like the person that waits till the week before Christmas. Or I find out when the last day that Amazon is delivering. <laughs> That's how I Christmas shop. All right. And then you guys are going to come in and you're going to paint that last ball. There we go. Oh my goodness, you shaking maniac. Okay? At least not the duck. <laughs> okay? And there's your last ball. I'm going to try to catch that in an angle so you guys can see that. Okay? Beautiful. All right. Now, once we're done painting our first set of balls. I get ready to shape my plates. We're going to come in and we're going to paint our balls again. Okay? So here we go. Get three balls. Hot oh, damn. <laughs> Bobby, you're so naughty, but I love you. Okay. white okay on your paint plate here let me show you what I'm doing 
Okay, so see this? I'm taking a little bit of white. Oh, oh, here we go. Let me find a place. A little bit of white on my paint plate. See this? And I'm moving it over here, just like that. Okay? And you guys are going to take a tiny, tiny bit of black. Now, why is that? Because black is naughty and it loves to travel. Oh, I love to travel. I love to travel so much. Oh, oh, I'm coming at you. Oh. <laughs> Okay, and you add a tiny bit of black to that, mix them together, and you are going to make a nice pale gray. Can you guys see that? Okay, not too dark. All right, like I said, black is naughty. You've got to be very sparing with it. All right, look at that. There we go. Okay, so there you go. There's that. All right, now. What we're going to do with that gray is we're going to bring in, hi, Kelly Kelly, how you do? Thank you. What we're going to do is we're going to bring that black into certain areas that's going to take that snowman from 2D to 3D, and it's going to make him dance, okay? Here we go. So, first thing I'm going to do, now, you know what? I like my little flat bottom snowman, but I, that's all right. I'm going to go with it. Okay. So you're going to take a little bit of gray, okay? And in the bottom, you're going to wisp that gray right around. Can you guys see this? Right around his buttocks, all right? Now, is this a line? No, it's not a line. I'm working it into that white, okay? See that? Ooh, look at that. I'm swinging it. I'm swinging it like a monkey round and round. See that? Okay, I'm going to angle that so you can see it better. All right? And then what I'm going to do is right under that belly, I'm going to tap in a little bit of gray right under that belly to create a shadow. So that way I know where that little belly is dancing. All right? That's my first ball. Can you see that up close? Okay? And I'm really getting in there with gray. I'm exaggerating it so you guys can see it better. See that? Oh, that's my dancing ball right there. Okay, so there's number one. Then, what I'm going to do on my second ball, same thing. I'm going to come right under that neck of the snowman, tap in a nice little layer of gray. This is not the time to be like a little delicate fleur, okay? This time we want to show that this guy is doing the boogie jam, all right? So I'm bringing it around town like this. Yeah, bring it around town. See that? Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. See that? Okay. And make sure that you're not just putting a line in there, okay? What you're doing is you're wisping this color in, all right? You want to make it so that it is part of the painting, not so that it's a line, all right? And if you go a little cray-cray, oh, look, I went a little cray-cray. All you got to do is clean off your brush, all right? Clean off that brush, grab a little white on there, look at that. And boom, chakalaka. With a very light touch, you're going to add a little white on top. Look at that. Bring that white back. Oh, John Denver, you little sweet nugget. Okay, and just bring a little white back. Look at that. Boom. Look at, oh, all better. All better. Okay. Can you see that? All right, so the whole idea is that we have depth and dimension as we make this guy boogie, okay? Now, what I'm going to do on top, I'm going to grab a little gray, and here we go. We're going to bring it around town, just like this, right around his head. Boom. There we go. Oh, look at that. Depth and dimension at the nug, right? Okay. 
And again, if you add too much, you just go over it with a little white, like that. Boom, chakalaka. We like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. And if you need to at any point, all you got to do is grab your big kahuna. All right. Grab your grand poopa. And then just shape it out. Look at that. Thank you, Grand Poopa. There we go. Okay, now can you guys see those guys doing the boogie jam? Now he's doing the boogie jam. He's got depth. He's got dimension. He's shaking it. Not quite, but he's gonna. Okay. There we go. All right, look at that. Mm, you boogie and snowman. Okay, there we go. All right, awesome. Now, the next thing that you guys are going to do, okay, you're going to grab your little, your little dinky winky, all right, your tiniest brush, okay? This is your detail brush. You're going to take this, we're going to dip it in our water, and then we're going to squeeze it out, okay? We're going to squeeze it out, just like this. You have a nice fine point on it. And you guys are going to use a very light touch, okay? Very light touch. And what we're going to do, okay, is we're going to come in and we're going to add these little, whoo! What you said, Nicole? We're going to add some of this, okay? And what that shows is that shows some movement. Here we go. Get a little bit over there. Look at that. Because he's shaking the bottom. All right. Add a little bit right here. Ooh, ooh. A little bit there. And we're going to add a little bit right here. Boom, boom. Okay. Look at that. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> nice. Okay? And when you guys are all finished with that, I like to taunt. Okay? <laughs> when you guys are all finished with that, what we're going to do is we're going to add in his face. Yes, we are. I am not going to, I'm not going to let you go for halftime yet. No siree. Hold your bladder. All right. So what we're going to do for his face is I am going to have everybody, they're going to take, you're going to take either your small brush or your medium brush. Whichever one has the smaller tip on it, okay? We're not using the brush part. We're using the tip, this part right here, okay? And what we're going to do with that tip, now I'm going to use my bigger one, is I'm going to dip it in the black. And you want to make sure that you get your eyes in the right place. You know why? Because you don't want your snowman doing this. Okay, so get those eyes in the right place. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to come right into his face, okay? I'm using the bottom of my brush. I'm just dragging it a little bit. And there is my first snowman eye. All right, we're going to do the same thing over here. And it's almost like, you guys remember Snoopy eyes? Well, this guy's got the snoopy eyes. Look at that. That's right. He be looking at you while he's doing the boogie jam. He going to give me the... Oh. <laughs> I see you. Oh. <laughs> okay? So what you do for this is you use the tip and you just drag it down just ever so gently. To put those eyes in the right place. Just like this. Whoop. Whoop. Okay. Make him look to the. To the this way. Okay. And then what you're going to do. 
once we get those eyeballs in there, okay, we're going to take our little itty bitty and you guys are going to mix a little bit of orange and a little bit of white on your paint plate. Where is that? Let's see. Right here. And you guys are going to make a nice creamsicle color. See that? I go, why are you making me make a creamsicle color? Well, I will tell you why. Because if we go to paint a nice, beautiful orange nose on a black canvas, it's never going to show up, okay? So what you need to do is you need to mix a little bit of white and orange. You're going to make like a primer. You know how you prime a wall so you can get that nice, strong coat on there? Well, that's what we're doing here. And what I'm going to have you do, okay, you're going to come in. And you're going to make a little Kool-Aid smile right under his eyes, just like this. Boom. We're using our tiny brush. And you guys are using that creamsicle color. And here we go. Here's Mr. Carrot. Woo, baby. I like a big carrot. I don't know about you. I like a big carrot. Here we go. Okay. I'm drawing out my carrot. And it looks like I lost a lot of folks. So I'm thinking you guys might have hit the pause button. I might be going a little too fast. Might be a little excited tonight. Okay. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you paint in this happy little carrot with your creamsicle. Okay, and when you get that carrot painted in, I'm going to give you guys a half time, okay? We are going to take five minutes for you guys. You can go make your bladder bladder. You can grab some wine, grab some cheese, grab a little bit of the bee's knees. Okay, and I will see you guys in five minutes. That's ten, but five minutes. I'll be right back. All right, you guys stretch your bones. Have a wonderful halftime, and I'll see you in five minutes. All right. Mwah.
it's super important to me. You guys know what it is. When you're all finished, because I can't see your faces, and that's what makes me act so wacky, okay, is that you send me a copy of you with your painting or just your painting, all right? I love it. I get to meet all you guys. I get to see your beautiful artwork, and I post. I get to write all of you. I write you all a special note, and I post them on my Facebook page, which is Artful Nights Maine. Now, if you guys have not liked Artful Nights Maine, please do on Facebook, okay? And what will happen is all my shows will come to you. So like Artful Nights Maine, you can send me a copy of your picture through my messenger on Artful Nights Maine, or you can email it to me through artfulnightsmaine at gmail.com. And this is the big one. In two days, okay, on Sunday night, 7 o'clock, look at this, baby. Here we go. Here is your Christmas moose that you've been waiting for. Moose. <laughs> okay? So that is what we're going to be doing Sunday night. Please share it with all your friends. Super fun. Christmas moose. You get to write your name. You can write all the name of your family members in the balls. Right? And that's the night that I'm having the ugly. Whoop. Bye, moose. <laughs> that's the night that I'm having the ugly sweater contest. So this is a deal. You guys grab all your friends all your family, whoever it is that you want to paint, okay? And you bring them together, you paint the moose, you wear the ugliest Christmas sweater you can find, send me a picture, if you, and then I'm going to post all the pictures on my page. If you win the ugly sweater contest, you win two free tickets to any of my live shows, which I, as you guys who know me really well, I do a lot of Christmas palettes. We're doing the red truck Christmas palette. And a couple of the upcoming live sh uh, live shows all throughout Maine. All right, so you win two free tickets if you can have the ugliest sweater. Now this has been one heck of a year, so let's have some fun with this. You guys make some nice sweaters, okay? All right, awesome. So I'm gonna see you Sunday night, two days. All right, okay. Here we go. All right, so I hope you're all caught up. I hope your blood is glad. I hope life is good for you right now because we are going to shake your flakes again. That's right. So the next thing you guys are going to do, right? So I'm going to say hello to me. All right, I'm going to get back on here. Find you. Come on, come on. Oh, Bobby Martin, Bobby does. Tiny Pillsbury, camera's a bit high. Can't see some of your strokes. Okay, you hold on, girl. Thank you, Tanya. I didn't know that. All right, here we go. I'm going to take out that palette. All right, we're going to take out that palette. Here we go. Check out this one. Oh, 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 we're having an earthquake. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Is that better, honey? Yes, I miss you fixing my mistakes. I hear you, girl. You come visit me in the live world, honey. When you're ready, I'll fix all the mistakes you got. Okay, can you guys see this? Christmas moose, baby. How you like that? Okay. Now, let's go shake our flakes. So, the next thing that we're going to do. Now, one thing I noticed, okay, was that I was having a little bit of trouble covering up my white. But since we've had a half time, I'm going to grab my big boy, grab my grand poopa, come in with a little bit of white, bring that white back, okay? I'm going to round it out, bring it back on this little shape flake up, okay? There we go. Look at that. Boom. And this is the deal. Whenever you need to come in and fix something, the best thing that you can do is wait for that painting to dry because dry paint always allows you to come in 
and do any sort of fixies. Okay. There we go. Look at that. I'm going to fill in that white a little more so you guys can see that. Here, let me turn this light up so that you can see my painting a little better. Okay, see that? Yeah, maybe we'll put a little bit more in there. Here we go. All right. So this is where we're at. Okay? And the next thing I'm going to have you guys do is we're going to grab that little bitty beanie. That little teeny weeny bunkin. And we are going to, this little guy right here, okay? We're gonna come in and we're gonna paint in that carrot, but we're gonna paint it in our full orange this time, okay? You guys ready for this? And since we put that beautiful undercoat on there, this orange is going to be nice and bright. Look at this. Beautiful. Okay, whenever you're trying to paint orange or red, you always want to do an undercoat. Because notoriously, it will not cover unless you do. All right, so there we go. There is his beautiful carrot nose. Look at that. Oh, makes me want to bite it. <laughs> See that? <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tanya, for telling me. How's that, guys? Is that better? If you guys can see me better? All right. Now, the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to have you guys take your smallest tip brush again. Now, when I say tip, I don't mean the painting tip. I mean the end of it, just like this, okay? And for me, that's my medium brush. This is where I got the smallest tip, all right? And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that tip. I'm going to dip it in the black, okay? And watch this. Here we go. Light touch, light touch, little harder. Okay, I'm using the end of the brush. I'm not using the brush part. No, no, no. End of the brush. All right. And I'm making the biggest one right in the middle. You can give it the little twirly whirly if you need to. We're going up. We're going up. Ooh, look at that. And now we got a full snowman smile. Look at that. Okay. Very easy to do if you use the tip of that brush, okay? Makes a perfect circle. All right. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab some black on that brush. And right on his belly, I am going to bring in his little snowman buttons. And for those, can you guys see... How I'm taking the tip of that brush. I'm not just dotting it. I'm going around so I can make that circle a little bigger. There's my first button. See that? Now my second button, I'm going to bring right over here. You're like, but Nicole, it's not going straight down the middle. No, it's not going straight down the middle because he's boogie jamming. Okay, so his little buttons are off. Right, because he's shaking his little flakes. Okay, so there's my second button. And then for my third button, I'm going to bring it right down here. Look at that. Oh, you snowman. Oh, you snowman. See that? Yeah, baby. Woohoo! I love it. Woohoo! Reminds me of the Pillsbury Doughman. Woohoo! <laughs> okay? So there's that. Now, what you guys are going to do next is you are going to grab your itty bitty, okay? We're going to grab that little detail brush again. Right here. See this? Ooh, little teeny weeny. Okay? Smooth it out. And what I'm going to have you do is remember that gray that we made just a little bit ago? If it dried up, all you got to do is add, make a little more, OK? 
okay? A little bit of white, a little bit of black, tiny bit of black, because black is naughty and it likes to travel. Oh, I love this song. <laughs> it's a naughty song. <laughs> Poor Grandma, she got run over by the reindeer. <laughs> okay. So you guys have got a little bit of gray on your tip. You're going to come in, and here we go. Boom. One, two, three. What I just did was I added a little bit of a shadow on those buttons. Can you see that? And what that does is that gives you a little bit more movement. All right? Shows it moving a little more. Okay? Yes. Same thing. I'm going to do the same thing on his nose. I'm going to go through the back and just add a little bit of a shadow under that snowman nose. And all that is is a nice fine line of gray. See that? We believe. That's red. <laughs> you guys can see the shape of my head. Because <laughs> my hat was 10 pounds. You guys wait. Next week. For the ugly sweater, ooh, I got something special planned. <laughs> okay, can you guys see that? Beautiful. Okay. Now, what we're going to do next is you guys are going to clean off your itty bitty brush. Okay, you're going to clean off your little tip mouse. That's what I'm going to call that one, the tip mouse. Okay, clean off that tip mouse, and we're going to put a nice fine point on it, and what I'm going to have you guys do next is you guys are going to carve out the snowman arms, all right, and the snowman arms are done in brown, so what I'm going to have you do with your tip mouse, one side of that tip mouse is going to be brown, and the other side of that tip mouse is going to be white. So you got brown and white. Brown and white. Okay, that looks like a little bit too much white, so I'm going to take a little white off. Brown and white. All right. And what I'm going to have you do is the first stroke that we are going to make goes right here. Boom. Just like this. Okay, there's our first one. Can you guys see that? Okay, double dip that brush again so you got brown and white on it. Comes right out of his belly. There's the first one. And then we're going to come up. Boom. Chugga -lugga. Just like that. Why? Because we're shaking it. Okay, look at that. Just like that, you guys. Okay. Then we're going to add a couple of these little buggers. Why? Because it's a twig. What do you do with a twig? You do a jig. That's right. Jiggy with the twig. Okay. See that? Yeah. He's that. Ooh, 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 ooh. See that? Beautiful. Okay, and if you need to bring in a little brown, you can. And then, last thing I'm going to do on that arm, I'm going to fatten it up a little. We don't want a little twiggy piggy. Okay, so I'm going to add a little more brown to the first line. Only the first line. All right, the one that's attached to the body. That's right. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Okay, so there's number one. All right, so one, two, three, four. Super easy. All right, now for our next one, I'm going to grab a little brown, grab a little white. Okay, now this one, 
first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna come right straight out of that belly. Now that was a little too much white, so I'm gonna add a little more brown. There we go, there's the first one. Okay, so you can see it in relation to where his other arm is. There we go, maybe I'll go in just a little bit more. How's that? Boom, chugga-lugga. There's number two. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, got that going, I'm going to come up, boom, attach that elbow right there. See that? Okay, there's number two. <laughs> Snowman's going to be break dancing. Okay, there's number two. And then what we're going to do with them, grab a little, little brown and white, and we're going to do this action. Okay, we're going to add that third layer on this one. See that? It's going like this. Ooh. Okay. And then we're going to add some of this little, little, Appendage there and a little appendage there. Okay. He's jamming. He is jamming. This guy, he's listening, he's not listening to this song. He's like, Grandma got run over by reindeer. <laughs> okay, look at that. Woo! Good guy. Okay, now, we've got the arms in there. What you guys are going to do next, you're going to take some of that gray, just like we did for the nose and for the buttons, and you're just going to gently pull that gray right around his arms, okay? So right here. All right, just a little smile around the arms with that gray. Okay, and one thing I did forget to do is fatten up that arm. So I'm going to add a little brown. I'm going to fatten up this arm just a little bit because I don't want my snowman having twiggy arms. He's strong. He's a strong snowman. And again, you know what? I really want to thank you guys so much for all your well wishes. Yes, we are hoping everything is going to be just fine, but we'll find out. <laughs> so thank you for your well wishes, and I am very sorry about Sunday. Okay? So there's that. There's my happy little guy. He's shaking it out. Okay? Now. The next thing we have to do is we've got to put his little mittens on. I'm going to take this off, man, because this thing is a beast. It's heavy. It's making me cock my head. <laughs> but it's awesome, isn't it? All right, hold on. You ready for this? It's going to be Christmas magic. Watch out. snowman mittens. I want to show them to you because the string that he's got, it's a little wanky. It goes behind his arm and it goes in front of his arm, okay? My Nana, all right, believe it or not, when I was growing up, my Nana used to make me mittens all the time. God bless her. And, all right, I was a little spacey. Go figure. So, I would lose my mitten all the time. <laughs> So my Nana started putting strings on my mittens. So that's exactly what this is. It's your Nana being good to you, putting the strings on your mittens. 
okay? Little did you know I've become this famous artist. <laughs> I was used to say, Nana, you know, Albert Einstein didn't know his left from his right either. <laughs> She'd say yes, Nicole. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I'm going to have you guys do is we're going to do this string, okay? I'm going to have you start from this point. Let's see. How are we going to do this? Okay. So what I'm going to have you guys do, we're going to start down here at the bottom, all right? So we're going to come down, and we're going to go around, just like that, right in front of that elbow, okay? Nice little loop-de-loop, -loop, just like your Nana. Put on your mittens too, maybe if you were a little, if you're a little forgetful. Okay, so there's number one, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take this loop, you're going to bring it around, and you're going to go in front of the hand. Okay, I'm gonna break this down for you guys so easy that you have the perfect snowman loop. Okay, so you take it, you go right from where we were, okay, and that, this is the part of the mittens that goes in front, okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to bring that loop around town, Ooh. okay, see that? Bring it around town to so you're a little bit below the wrist. And you stop at the brown line. Because that part goes behind. Okay? So there's that. And then you start the line over here. Just like that. So as you can see... This is the part that's in the front. Whoop! Look at that. We're going around, we stomp, and then you have that part in the back. Okay? Let's fix that line. Yeah. All right, there we go. Now you have your mitten lines. And what you guys are going to do next Clean off your brush. You're going to grab a little bit of red on that little tip mouse, that little teeny weeny beanie. Okay, so grab some red. What we're going to do, we're going to put a line just like this. Now, you guys remember what I said about the uh, red? So if you need to do these in white, you can do them in white first. But the first part of the mitten I'm going to do is just this part. Okay, it's the letter U with a line on top. And I'll show you exactly what this looks like. Okay? It is the letter U with a line on top. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of red and white so that I can outline these mittens and you guys can see what I'm doing. All right? So look at this. It's the big letter U, just like this. And I'll do my mittens in pink with a white line on top. Look at that. Boom! Chaka -laka. Okay? There's the first part of your mitten. And then all you got to do, you add a thumb. Right? Just like a lobster claw. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a thumb on this side. And I will show you what this looks like. Make that mitten a little bigger. Okay. Okay, so then you just add a thumb. Look at that. Easy piece of Japanese. -y. Okay. And then you're going to fill it in. So I'm going to fill it in with pink, just like this. Oh, you guys, it's Frosty the Snowman song. 
How perfect is that? Made out of coal. Okay, that's number one. <laughs> I love it when that flame comes together. So there's your first mitten. And we're going to do the same thing with our second mitten. We're going to start off with a line. Okay? Start off with a line. You're going to add a big old U. 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 The letter U. The letter U stands for underwear. And unicorn. Okay? Just like that, baby. And then from there, we're gonna put on his little pumpkin. Woo, look at that. And they're all around the square. Okay, there's a pumpkin. Down the streets of town to the traffic cop. I love this song. All right, you guys. Now you're going to paint in your second mitten. Boom, bada, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Look at Rusty Bull. Oh, the hills of snow. All right, there's my second mitten. Look at that. Okay. Now, what I'm going to have you guys do next is we are going to wash off our little tip mouse. We're going to dry it off. Give it a nice flat point, just like that. Okay? See this? Ooh, but it better nuts. And if you guys did this in red, okay, then you're going to use that light pink to highlight. If you did them in light pink like I did, you're going to use the red to highlight. So here we go. Okay? And when I say highlight, it means we're going to put the lines in the mitten. So, what I'm going to have you do is trace out on the outside of the mitten. Okay, there we go. We're going to come up down like this. Trace out that letter U. Just like that. See that? Ooh. There we go. We're going to bring that little thumbkin in. All right, so all I did was I traced around the outside of that mitten, just like that. I'm going to take some more red. Here we go. Do this. Add a line, just like that. And one, two, three, four. Look at that. Look at that little mitten. Yeah. <laughs> and then maybe I'll add a snowflake on the tip of it. Okay. And basically what this is, is I'm going to do a plus sign like that. And then I'm going to do a multiplication sign. And we hit right at the center point. Roop. Roop. Look at that. Okay, so you guys remember how I told you when we started our holiday series, okay? We started off with this guy who was super duper easy and you guys loved him. And then we moved to this guy, which is still pretty easy, you know? We're, we're progressing as we go. Now for the moose, the moose isn't hard. It's not hard. But, you guys, it's going to be a little bit more challenging. So just make sure when you guys are ready on Sunday, you got your whole, you know, when you get your ugly sweater on and all that, that you, uh, you're prepared. We're going to go for a full two hours on that night, okay?
I like to keep these online paintings relatively easy for you guys. So you don't get frustrated and you learn to paint and you learn to love it. Okay? So here we go. We're going to do this one. We outline this hand just like this. Okay, and just do me a wonderful favor besides liking Artful, A-R-T-F-U-L, Artful Nights Maine. Here, I'll give you a visual. Ah, how we go? Hmm? Awful nice man. Whoops. Here we go. <laughs> okay, besides liking that, what I want you guys to do is share these shows with your friends so that we can spread a ton of holiday joy. All right, I want some holiday joy in this world. Been a crazy year in 2020. Let's bring in the happy, happy, happy. Okay. So we're going to do the same exact thing for our second mitten. All right, we're going to trace it. Add one, two, three, four lines on that second thing. And then you guys are going to add in a little snowflake. All right, this time I'll do the multiplication sign first. And then the plus sign. Okay, and once you guys get those mittens done, your snowman is finished, okay? What we're going to do next, this is the fun part, all right? Everybody's going to grab their little brush, and you guys... Okay, some of you might, oh, I can't write, shake my flake. Well, hopefully you can, all right? Don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's your world. It's your snowman. It's your penmanship. You own it. You love it. It's your world, okay? So here we go. We're going to come in. We're going to write the shake your flakes. You can write it any way you want to. If you want to take a pencil and write it in pencil first. If you want to make sure that the placement is where it needs to be, you can do that. Okay. And what I do is I just get right in there and go for it. Okay. All right. Shake. A little bit too much gooba on my brush. Okay. And a happy new year. Get right in there with my shake. Why? Why? Because I love ya. There we go. You, unicorn, unicycle, shake your, and here we go, coming around the side, everybody, shake your flakes, is me F. All right, there's me L. A. K. Okay. <laughs> and sometimes even I run out of space, and that's okay. Shake your flakes, everybody. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Not the one that's in your head. <laughs> okay. Like I said, if you guys need to do this in pencil first, that's okay. Shake them flakes. Okay. Now, the most fun part of this painting, okay, 
what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you guys how to splatter paint the painting. Can you guys see that? You can just barely see, see all that. That's splatter painted snow. We love splatter painted. But I'm going to warn you, it's messy. Make sure nobody's sitting across from you because you're probably going to spray them with a little paint. Okay? So, to splatter paint, what you guys want to do, I, I would suggest getting a clean paint plate. Okay? Clean paint plate. And grab some white. Grab some white. Just about, I don't know, like half a teaspoon. Just a little dollop. Okay? See? Just like this. Um, there it is. Okay? Now, what you guys are going to do is you're going to grab some clean water. Not dirty water. Don't take your paint water. Grab some clean water. And what you want to do is grab maybe about a teaspoon of water. Okay? Equal parts. Teaspoon of water to paint. Okay? So I'm going to get some water. Way too much. All right, so I'm gonna grab a teaspoon of water and I'm gonna grab my little brush. I'm gonna do this for you guys so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, you're gonna mix your water with your paint until it's about the consistency of milk. Now that's a little bit too much water, so I'm gonna pour that off. Um, let me see, where's my dirty plate? It's a little too much water, okay? So you want to mix it until it's about the consistency of milk, okay? See that? There we go. Look at that. Looks like milk, all right? Okay. Now that I've got the right consistency, you don't want it to be too thick for this, all right? And I'm going to grab my... Well, the name. Oops. <laughs> okay, I'm going to, oh, here we go. I'm going to grab my Graham Koopa, okay? And do you guys remember when you were little, all right? And, you know, you was mad at your little brother or sister, and you took your, your uh, you took your um, toothbrush, and you were like, <laughs> you remember, you were there. <laughs> well, that's what we do to splatter paint. Very similar. Okay, now I'm going to do it over here so I don't make a big old mess, all right? And you guys can watch me. I'm going to take this, this watered-down paint, and I'm going to load up my big kahuna, okay? My big kahuna tuna. Then I grab my fingers. Yes, you are going to get dirty. Grab your fingers, and you're going to flick that just like this. Okay, you're flicking it, the top of it, just like this. I'm using my index finger, see how dirty that is? And I'm flicking it just like this, okay? Now be careful, you just want a little bit of splatter, or you can have as much splatter as you want. If you're too watery, what's going to happen is you're going to get drips. We don't want that, okay? So got to be the right consistency. Load it up. There you go. Make sure you've got a good covering. Boom. Boom. And you guys add as much or as little splatter on that sucker as makes your heart happy. You're going to string it like a guitar. Okay? Yeah, baby. Oh, I like me some splatter, splatter. Look at that, okay? Now that my whole table is splattered, I'm gonna show you guys up close what that does. Look at that. How fun is splatter painting? And if you got a nice open space, you can flick your friend. Flicky, flicky. <laughs> okay? Let's see who else. Is there any other comments on here that I might have missed? Oh, yeah. Thank you, says Tanya. 
Much better, yes, Tanya. Cindy Bailey, hi, baby. Girl, a next girl, a next lives shots boss. Oh, oh, yeah, take it off. Oh, oh, my god, Bobby. I don't know, he's just a little naughty. <laughs> okay, can you guys see that? And that is the final step. Once you guys get your splatter on there, your masterpiece is complete, okay? Grab your middle brush. Put your famous artist signature in the lower left or right-hand corner. Same one you're going to use for the rest of your life. Okay, make sure it's a good one. Ooh, look at that. Don't, don't, don't use that little brush where it's dripping. Jesus. You just got that suck out good. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna grab a little orange. And Debbie. There we go. Your masterpiece is complete, you guys. I hope you had fun shaking your flakes. Woo! And I'm gonna see you in two days, Sunday night, and you are going to do the Christmas moves. You're going to send me the ugliest, wear your ugly sweater, win some tickets. Okay? I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Bye, guys.